Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's collaboration time again with Dixie Girl XOX. So I've gone very subtle this time and I've gone for a pink and 3D nail gem look. And then Kate has done these really lovely blue nails with the contrast stamping. And it's actually a little sneaky peek of a new plate that's going to be released early next year. So look out for that. So I'm using this beautiful colour from the Gel Bottle Ink and it's called Petal. So I'm going in here with my second coat and then once that's all completed I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So for the stamping, I'm actually just going to remove the tacky layer with some cleanser. And then I'm going to be using one of the mini Dixie plates today. This is the Nail Gems plate and I just adore this plate. So as you can see, most of these images have got you know spaces for you to fill in so you can either color them in or you can put gems in there it's entirely up to you so I'm going to use this sort of like bracelet design here and then I'm going to use that part of the necklace one there I'm also just using my Dixie diamond duo today and just some black stamping polish So before I start colouring my designs in, I am actually going to seal this with the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat. So these are the two colours I'm going to use for my colouring in. These are the Buttercreams from Light Elegance, so I'm using Black Tie and Rosy Posy, and this is what they look like in their jars. And I'm also using the Gel Bottle Ink uh, Detail Brush. So this product likes to be applied on top of a smooth surface, which is why I top coated before I started. And it also doesn't have much of a tacky layer when it's cured. So I'm not going to top coat after I finish my designs. I'm going to leave them like a 3D raised effect. So on the thumb I'm also going to add some gems and this is the Scarlet Centre Wonderland collection and it's the Alice collection and these are from Crystal Parade and I'm just going to pick a couple of um, stones out just at random to adhere to the nail. So I'm just going to colour in this finger now and cure and then that's it all done. So these are the finished nails and I think these are really lovely and girly 
and I absolutely adore that plate. You can just go crazy and just colour it in whatever colours you like. So I really hope you enjoyed this one guys. I'll leave Kate's channel link at the end of the video so you can go and check out how she did her nails. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!